This person found a USB stick stuck inside a brick wall. What do you think would happen if you plugged a laptop into this USB stick? What would you find? What would you do? Would you do that? You might be crazy if you did this. Think about the possibilities here. What could this mean? One, it could be money. It could be Bitcoin. Two, it could be somebody's just old pictures from MySpace or something. Gross. Or a glitch. Just like how old video games used to glitch. Actually, sometimes new ones like cyberpunk. And things just get stuck in walls sometimes. Yeah, that. So it could be meaningless. Or it could mean something extremely dangerous. We don't, we don't really know. Um, nobody knows what this does. Apparently nobody's plugged anything into it. And told the story, at least not on the site where I found it. Nobody's saying a word, so guess we'll never know. But there's some other hidden Easter eggs people have found in real life that we're gonna look at right now. Every autumn in the Oregon coast range, when the leaves start to change color, for some reason, these trees change color first, making this design. This person found a stargate located in a random field, according to their description. A stargate. You're just gonna like go to some other, this like random, dimension all right that that actually checks out yeah the fact that it's located in a random field that's exactly where it should be located so uh good luck with that one this person found a hidden message on a motherboard from a cabinet they're rebuilding and it says <laughs> i wish you were a beer <laughs> dude you know this was a friday they were just thinking about getting home <laughs> How many times did they do this? Loki, I want to rip my computer apart now and see what I give up. <laughs> I'm not safe. I'm not good for my own like electronics. I'm a, I'm a danger. I'm a hazard to them, <laughs> to them and myself. On the packaging of this baguette, I have no idea what that means. It's uh, step number four. It gives you instructions or whatever, but number four says after four days of drying, use to pound nails or add to your rock collection. Basically a clever way of saying, look, if you haven't eaten this by four days, like, it's no good. This person rented a car and found a tiny flaw in the print that looks like a snake or the Loch Ness Monster. What do you think? Was this intentionally put there? <laughs> or did the printer thing just go whack when it was uh, putting the, all these lines and dots on the window? Personally, I don't know. I can't say. Interesting for sure. This person is getting new countertops installed in their home. And when they pull the old countertops off, this is what they found <laughs> underneath. There's a random gap in the corner and they put a skeleton in there. Now, this is not real. It's not real. It's a plastic skeleton, okay? It was never a real body. Just just to be clear here, okay? Jeez, it's a joke. But I have often thought about this. That there's weird corners and crevices in homes and apartments where it's like, what's that used for? Nothing. If you look at these cabinets and just think even a little bit, you'll realize there's there's nothing be like that's just wasted space so what is in there well now we know it's a skeleton all right there we go this brick wall may look like it just has cleverly designed or they're trying to be artistic or something with all these random bricks sticking out turns out they're not random this is morse code this is morse code and it spells out the address of the building on this wall that is wild man i don't know who thought of that but that's props to you for that that's really smart I, I'm impressed. This person peeled the label off of their beer. They did not say what brand it was, but underneath the label on the can, it says, quit undressing. I'm assuming if they rotate the can, it might say quit undressing me. I don't know. That makes me just want to start like ripping things apart and seeing like what's, what's underneath everything. Is there anything? Uh, it's probably a bad idea. I feel like most things are going to have nothing underneath, but uh, that's what makes these finds so special because it is actually very rare. Okay. I love this one. The NASA Apollo Saturn V Lego set has 1,969 pieces, 1969. Coincidentally, 1969 is the year that humans first set foot on the moon. Wow, that is clever. They really thought this one through. I mean, we're talking about rocket scientists here, so duh. I mean, of course they would think this through. The footrest in this Jeep is actually Morse code, and it says sand, snow, rivers, rocks as if jeep drivers didn't have enough confidence as it is by the way i do have a jeep and i love it it says no flip on the side right there which you can see but if you do flip it there's a, <laughs> the lettering says you son of a bitch. it said no flip you're not supposed to see that you're never supposed to see the side that says you son of a bitch because you're never supposed to flip it but somebody did somebody broke the rules i don't know what this post is for but uh if you look closely it's actually supposed to be a ufo abducting a human that's that's pretty cool i don't know what city you live in but uh respect that's pretty neat apparently there is a library in the middle of a desert at joshua tree national park hey that's actually not very far from where i live i drive by it all the time whenever i leave la and there's just random books here in this 
like tiny crevice in the rocks. That's pretty neat. I should uh, see if I can find it. If I ever find it, I'll put it on my Instagram story or something. Follow my Instagram, by the way. Blech. Somebody saw this random design in the sky. I don't know what it means. F this. I fucking hate this one. Things to do with this box. Cat mansion. Spaceship. Batmobile. Lemonade stand. Cheap coffee table. Large hat. House for small humans. Hashtag who gives a crap. Wow, I actually love that hashtag. Um, that's that's really, really cool. Hashtag who gives a crap. I want to start using that. Irish passport has a tri-color flag binding. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's kind of neat. The sign at the pond. It's called the pond, but you can only read it in the reflection of the water. So clever. Somebody graffiti the T-Rex runner thing uh, near some train tracks. And it looks awesome in my opinion. That's, how did they get the line so straight? That looks really cool. Dude, train graffiti is so good sometimes. I was like, how do people get that good at art? I, I guess that's like the worst question I've ever asked. Okay, never mind. Bottom of a coffee bag says, what are you doing here? The bag opens at the other end. Ha, ah, you're so funny. Good one. It's a good one. Always wear this beanie on the first date. You will look great. I mean, maybe, maybe not. That's a, that's a great thing to put on the tag though to give people confidence. That's actually great. You know what? I should start putting like little sayings that give people confidence on the tags of my merch. Nah, I don't think I could do it. Like honestly, if I put sayings on the tags, it probably would not be something positive. Like that would probably be like, the world sucks, f everybody. Have a good time. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the type of stuff I would put. <laughs> um. I should do another merch drop, actually. That's not bad. This is a hand sanitizer dispenser, and it says on there, paper cut locator. Yes, if you got a, a paper cut and you don't know where to find it, uh, just, just get some hand sanitizer. So this drink has the date it was canned on, January 7th, 2020, and then it says, happy birthday, Beth. Yo, I don't know who Beth is, but uh, happy birthday, Beth. Apparently, like this can was canned on your birthday. If your name was Beth and you had a drink in your hand, and you looked and it saw your birthday and said your name and happy birthday to you. Like, that would be wild, dude. I kind of wonder how many times this has actually happened to people in real life. But it seems like very rare. But uh, whoever Beth is, happy birthday to you. In the middle of an average day, unexpectedly, you find something that uplifts you. This is a random rock somebody painted and left on a hiking trail in, like, Vermont. So, if you ever go hiking and see this, hopefully it uplifts your day. I guess. I don't, I don't know. Kind of cool, I guess. Now, here's a clothing tag that says... Words mean nothing and promises are never kept. Now that's something that I would maybe put on uh, on my merch line. That would make sense. Yeah, kind of like emo sad. That makes sense for the Vibe Check clothing brand, actually. Wow, I'm not gonna steal that saying, okay? Not exactly what I would even put, but I like that it's negative. <laughs> that's terrible. I like that it's like, eh. Life is bleh. Don't trust anybody. I like that. I like that. What's that called? A paradox where it's like, oh, it's like a good and bad thing at the same time. Happy and sad at the same time. Opposing ideas at the same time. I don't know, something like that. That's the idea anyway. I like this. I like this a lot. Also, I love that they put it on the tag. It's so subtle. You don't even notice. And then somebody reads the tag and you're like, wait, what? Why, why, does, why is my my tag making me sad? Because look at the shirt you bought. Clearly, it's like a sad emo shirt. What, what else were you expecting? <laughs> so here's two dudes in the middle of a sidewalk coming out of a puddle. This is like really weird and creepy. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I don't think I like it. I'm like, I'm just not a fan of this one. Eesh. Who did this? Who does this? Stop doing it. Please stop. This is on the bottom of a box of insomnia cookies. Whatever that is. Turn me over unless you like floor cookies. Please don't eat floor cookies. <laughs> what? Wh what does that even mean? I'm so lost here. <laughs> okay. Well, enjoy your cookies, I guess. Peel the label off of this brand of kombucha and it says... Thank you. It's sticky under here. Uh, okay. This is the interior side of a lock to a cabinet. It fell off and the person who picked it up noticed that there's a pine tree engraved on it. Keep in mind, the inside of the lock. No one's ever going to see this. Ever. Who took the time to engrave a pine tree on this lock? Somebody who's making hourly. <laughs> Clearly, it was bored at work. This cow balloon actually has a hidden map of Italy on it. Can you see it? I see it. I see the boot kicking the pile of crap. Yeah, that's that's what Italy is, if you didn't know. No offense if you live on the island, though. Dale's Pale Ale, canned on July 2nd, 2021, and it says, Free Britney. Wow, they're so relevant. They 
actually i mean for the time yeah but like i guess that's when it was canned by the time it reaches a consumer you would think it'd be outdated but who knows man they know what they're doing not me clearly i don't know anything there's a museum with a bunch of bugs on the wall and then they put a volkswagen bug uh on display with it hilarious and i bet a lot of people don't notice this because you have to look super close because there are so many actual bugs that uh yeah that's a good one <laughs> i like that okay so this broom clearly has on the front of the label written not suitable for flying why <laughs> clever i do like that actually i like it a lot that's that's great please can more companies and brands like do this shit this is uh, this is awesome i love it witches fly on brooms but if you're scared of witches and spooky stuff then you should definitely not watch this video here that i recently posted because it's scary and a lot of people won't be able to handle it but if you think you can handle it then watch it's some of the scariest statue videos on the internet thank you for watching this video though and leave a comment what you like to see next thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys real soon all right bye